Conducting system of the heart. Components. The conducting system of the heart is made up of specialized cardiac muscle fibers and is responsible for initiation and conduction of cardiac impulse. The conducting system of the heart consists of the following five components. Sinoatrial node, atrioventricular node, atrioventricular bundle, right and left branches of bundle of his, subendocardial Purkinje fibers. Sinoatrial node. Sinoatrial node is also known as node of Keith Flack. It is a small horseshoe-shaped mass having specialized myocardial fibers situated in the wall of the right atrium in the upper part of sulcus terminalis, just below the opening of the superior vena cava. It is known as pacemaker of the heart because it generates impulses about 70 per minute and initiates the contraction of cardiac muscle producing a heartbeat. Atrioventricular node is also known as node of Tawara. It is smaller than the SA node and is located in the lower part of the atrial septum, just above the attachment of septal cusp of the tricuspid valve or opening of the coronary sinus. It conducts the cardiac impulse to the ventricle by the atrioventricular bundle. The AV node is capable of generating impulses at a rate of about 60 per minute. The speed of conduction of cardiac impulse, which is about 0.11 seconds, provides sufficient time to the atria to empty their blood into the ventricle before ventricles start contracting. Atrioventricular bundle. It begins from the AV node, crosses the AV ring, and runs along the inferior part of the membranous part of the interventricular septum, where it divides into the left and right branches. Since the skeleton, which is a fibrous framework of the heart, separates the muscles of atria from the muscles of the ventricles, the bundle of his is the only means of conducting impulses from the atria to the ventricles. Right and left branches of the bundle of his. The right branch passes down to the right side of the interventricular septum and then becomes subendocardial on the right side of the septum. A large part of it continues in the septomarginal trabeculum to reach the anterior papillary muscle and anterior wall of the ventricle. Its Purkinje fibers then spread out beneath the endocardium. The left branch descends on the left side of the ventricular septum, divides into Purkinje fibers which are distributed to the septum and left ventricle. Purkinje fibers they are the terminal branches of the right and left branches of the bundle of his and spread subendocardially over the septum and the rest of the ventricular wall. The conducting system and mode of contraction of cardiac muscle is summarized as follows. The SA node, a spontaneous source of cardiac impulse, initiates an impulse which rapidly spreads to the muscles of the atria, making them contract. The AV node, picks up the cardiac impulse from atria and conducts it through the atrioventricular bundle and its branches to the papillary muscles and the walls of the ventricles. The papillary muscles contract first to tighten the chordae tendine and then the contraction of the ventricular muscle occurs. Arterial supply of the conducting system. The whole of the conducting system of the heart is supplied by the right coronary artery except a part of the left branch of the AV bundle which is supplied by the left coronary artery. Clinical correlation. Conducting system defects. The defect or damage of conducting system causes cardiac arrhythmias. The SA node is the spontaneous source of generation of cardiac impulses. The AV node picks up these impulses from atria and sends them to the ventricles through AV bundle the only means through which impulses can spread from the atria to ventricles. If the AV bundle fails to conduct normal impulses, there is alteration in the rhythmic contraction of the ventricle, which is known as arrhythmias. If complete bundle block occurs, there is complete dissociation in the rate of contraction of atria and ventricles. The commonest cause of defective conduction through AV bundle is atherosclerosis of coronary arteries which leads to diminished blood supply to the conducting system. An important point to be noted here is that rapid pulse is called tachycardia, 
the slow pulse is called bradycardia, whereas irregular pulse is called arrhythmia.